During the 1970s, Ireland's horse lips brought Celt rock to local and international audiences, and from their sixth album, Aliens, the track Sure the Boy Was Green. <laughs> Kind of a menace there with the structure in that low E and then the flute interjections and rising, you know. I gotta say, I've just always loved the angularity, by the way, the, um, the intro pivots to the verses. And like that, that just subtle chord change, like from E to um, F. Okay, do we have, um, let's see, um, I think all I can find are the, these aren't quite um, in the right order. Sure the boy was green, his heart was on the line, 17 and lonely and biding his time. Sure the boy was green, his heart was on the line, 17 and lonely, okay. He was only a mad moonlighter dancing by the sea, envying nobody, chasing shadows crazy and free. You were the cloud that covered the moon, now he just can't see. Now he's just a kid with a runaway heart. So it's just kind of about the tribulations of youth, internal, external. It's those like guitar like <clears throat> changes, right? It, it's those chordal changes that the angularity of it all, particularly the way the F the effect that F, the, the tonality of F seems to have on this number that's primarily framed in E. Um, and of course, the way those bass lines just kind of walk up through the chords. And... All the shots over the nature, no, 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 no. The boy was cleaning his heart was on the line. Some The twin guitar attack, the, those like higher kind of sizzling tones and the more against the more rhythmic strings. <laughs> Yeah, I the 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 lead is is pretty hot, but that the way the bass just kind of moves up around through the chords and.
I think one of the strongest things about this band is the rhythm section. There, there's something in the way that they're just pacing it and guiding it that's... Um, it, it. God, that flute was really strong, too. Yeah, Horse Lips with Sure the Boy Was Green from their 1977 album Aliens. Since that went by so quick, let's hear a second track off Aliens, the track Second Avenue. Do I hear just a little bit of Leslie? A little bit of Leslie effect. the full lyrics to this. Let's see what's going on here. They'll be waiting at the key side. They'll be running down the hill. Uh, will they meet and recognize us? And do they really love us still? Huh. I wonder who, I wonder who he's talking about here. All down 2nd Avenue, the news is spreading fast. They've parlayed with the captain and they're coming in. They're coming home at last. Hmm. All down Second Avenue, the news is spreading fast. The fire with the captain and the gun. They're coming home at last. So tell the people the future is on its way. That's what the people say. So tell the people the future is on its way. That's what the people say. I really love the um, <clears throat> stop starts in that chorus. Like, um, I'm thinking the lyrics are probably about the Irish immigration to the United States in the early 20th century, and they're talking about um, oh, like uh, people coming in, like into New York by the by the shipload. And like um, people who were who've already settled, like waiting for relatives to arrive. <laughs> They'll be crowding on the rooftops, cheering wildly in the shuttered streets. Yeah, I'm seeing it already. I'm seeing like uh, Irish, like first generation Irish youth, like living in New York tenements and such, living in the city. Um, the Irish ghettos of New York, like say in the 1910s. Um, you know, over those balconies, those metal, you know, balconies outside those like 
10, 10 story, 11, you know, um, just like shouting down, waiting for the processions of new arrivals to come, waiting for like uncles, aunts, cousins to arrive, these big families. Yeah, they'll be streaming down the sidewalks. They'll be dancing in the midnight heat. Yeah. And though they can't remember what the dream for the day, it's far too late to tell them they've been fooling in. They never listen anyway. So tell them, brother, the future starts today. That's what the papers say. That riff right there just really makes the song. It, with that, that da no 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 It's like they're they're throwing like in an extra bar or something. It's it's kind of almost jarring there. And I also like the way the um the guitar and organ are trading off right there, like da no no the bass once again is quite delectable i i'm even even though it's it's subtle even though it's not really front and center i i still find myself getting pulled away by the, those bass notes like like just just the the choice placement of, of notes the, the way it like walks around these chords and just kind of does its own thing and and stands its ground <laughs> I think I get what what's making that that one part of the song just so unique. It because it for most of it, like during that course, it's going tell the people, and it's going like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and then it goes one, two, um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, like that. It it throws in a few threes. It it um. Oh, that is, I love that coda. That is great, yeah. Um, what did we hear there at the end there? A little bit of a uh, bagpipe, was that? Um, huh, I, I couldn't quite quite make out that last instrument. I, I, I don't see that, in, nah. I don't see that instrument um, listed on here. Um, yeah, uh, the flute of Jim Lockhart was, was really strong. He's credited with keyboards and flute, and um, the bass of Barry Devlin, um, who also sings, and um, yeah, the and and the guitar, of course, of John Thien. Um Horse Lips, yeah, Aliens, released in 1977 on um, DGM Records. I guess this. And um, the one before and the one after it formed a conceptual trilogy. Um, like, uh, this album, I guess, is the one that deals with 
with settling into into the United States, like the the Irish invasion of the early twentieth century, um, and uh, yeah, a lot of imagery in that song about um, about that era and about life in that era. Like um, these people may have lived in cramped situations. The the city may have been dirty. It may have been just and, and you know these families were like manual labor bound and working class i mean um it, it was a hard life but they had each other they they had big families and just everyone loved each other it was a really tight-knit type community um yeah for more rubies and sapphires from the catalog of horse lips see the directory of albums by irish artists linked in the description below um, the band uh, were uh, the band were putting out albums between 1972 and 1979. You can find them all, all the album, all the proper albums they did, um, in that list, along with uh, in that directory, along with other um, Irish artists like the Boomtown Rats, U2, Rory Gallagher, Gary Moore, Thin Lizzy, Frupp, um, <clears throat> Doctor Strangely Strange. Yeah, list, the amount of talent that came out during the between the late 60s and mid 1980s micro disney yeah you know um and then um from there you can also um check out the um other parts of that area that part of the map like the scott the directory of scottish albums directory of welsh albums and like and subscribe and Follow me on social media to know when the next video is coming out and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about these songs, their lyrics, the instrumentation, um, some insights you might have about um, or interpretations you have about either of the two songs and their meaning. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most ear travel trimaximist, signing off.